With adventure on their minds, guests return from around the globe to board the magnificent Norwegian Encore as she returns to U.S. waters for an experience of a lifetime. Finally, excited, ecstatic. It's emotional, very exciting. We're back and we're ready to rock and roll. Destination, America's last frontier. The majestic and awe-inspiring Alaska. It is just the magical. With no shortage of places to explore both on and off the ship, this is more than a journey. This is an experience like no other, where guests can see what it feels like to let the outside in. Words cannot describe. It's breathtaking. After 18 months of planning and preparation, Norwegian Cruise Line is back in action. Today, the Norwegian Encore is in Seattle, getting ready to set sail for Ketchikan, an iconic port nestled along Alaska's southeastern coastline. Hi, welcome aboard. Welcome. Good morning. Washi, washi, happy, happy. When the message came that I was finally coming back to sea, like all the crew, it was definitely two thumbs up. We were ready. We're happy to be back. Seeing the guests coming down the gangway and even meeting them in the hallway, seeing them in the restaurant, it is just great. I'm lost for words, to be quite honest. But I still have to digest that we're back and we have this great restart, showcasing obviously what we can do and what we have been working on. And I just really, really look forward to the continuation and these days to come. Across the entire ship, the excitement amongst the NCL team is palpable. To see the crew being so excited with the big smiles and eager and ready to receive our guests with such anticipation and deliver that famous hospitality from the heart and have the first guest walk across the gangway, and it was very emotional. We are on our first voyage, and this voyage, where we have an opportunity to bring several guests on board to give them a first taste of the quality and the product that we do have for Norwegian Cruise Line. There were times where we thought this might not happen, to be honest, and to get on the ship and see the crew, the smile comes through the mask. I was extremely excited and I was super happy to go back on the ship and explore all these nice, beautiful places, see all my friends and all my colleagues and welcome and wow our guests one more time. Today is really a historic day for our company. Guests come on board and we start serving the product we've been working on for so long, so can't wait. This was like coming home. The feeling is unbelievable. You get chills, very emotional tears. You tear up, you know, just to walk around and, and feel the, the ship. For guests, that feeling of excitement is just as evident. I think they're just excited, probably more than we are too, to be back at sea. My heart is racing. I'm so happy to see the people that have been stuck at home. And all I can say is this is the day we've been waiting for, for the last 15 months. I feel like it's a, it's a miracle a little bit. It felt like, finally, the light at the end of the tunnel. I can't wait for the environment, for the food everything. <laughs> when somebody told me welcome home, my heart melted and that's how I feel. I feel like I'm coming home. Our team did an outstanding super job to get everybody ready and deliver this great vacation of a lifetime with hospitality from the heart. So proud of be part of this team. It's really amazing. With our great crews come back, we want to ensure that all guests as well as crew are going to be safe on board. We're not going to hold back on what we offer. We'll be 100% with every single function, attraction, restaurants, dining, bars and services available for the guests. And also everybody's vaccinated. We want to make sure everybody has fun and has a good time and is in a safe environment. And so far, the plan is working. The ship is amazing. I can't wait. I'm definitely excited, but I've never been to Alaska. The sail away party was the first sign for us that people were ready. They see party, they see event, they're going to be there. So they showed up, we let it rip. We're full throttle. We're giving them everything we can. Adding to this momentous milestone, NCL celebrates the unveiling of new guest experiences 
along with two new ports at Icy Strait Point and Ward Cove in Ketchikan, Alaska. We'd like to welcome everybody to Icy Strait Point. <laughs> Guests can explore Alaska by immersing themselves in the local culture and take in all its natural beauty. The new high-speed gondola is not only environmentally friendly. This gondola system that you see here moves 2,800 people an hour each way. And what it's effectively done is removed 100 buses that would be required to move the same amount of people around the site. It also provides guests with access to the historic Salmon Cannery, as well as miles of new hiking trails and scenic vistas. I grew up here in that first cottage, and this is where they loaded all the canned salmon. This dock that you're standing on was actually constructed also in Alaska. It's very important to us as well. The Norwegian Encore made history yet again as it docked for the first time at Ward Cove in Ketchikan. It really, really is wonderful, you know, to be able to pull into this dock and see the natural beauty all around is nothing short of breathtaking. By embracing and investing in local communities like these, NCL is leading the way in offering guests the experience of a lifetime filled with culture, adventure, and astounding untouched beauty. It's a big day as the cast of The Choir of Man, one of NCL's most popular shows, is rehearsing for their first show back on board Encore. Articulate lyrics, chew them and spit them out as fast as you can. Still wake up, the Choir of Man is a thrilling show that's full of energy, dancing, toe stop, and songs that people recognize, but kind of told in a slightly different way. Well, they were out of shape for a little bit because they haven't rehearsed in a year and a half. I think the band weren't ready. Okay. But everyone was so focused and dedicated, the show just came off without a hitch. It needs to be thrown to the musician faster. We're, we're, there's a moment of, where's my focus going to be? And then we're running across the stage and where's my focus going to be? And it can't be. It has to be whack, whack. The team was amazing because we had such a short timeline to get this show up and running, but they came through and the show is one of the best we've produced in a long time. It's showtime. To the back, baby. Yes, Navigating a ship of this magnitude is no easy feat. From changing weather conditions to maneuvering in and out of ports, the Norwegian Encore is loaded with all the latest technology to pave the way for a safe and event-free passage to Alaska. I'm navigation officer on board beautiful Norwegian Encore. This is the newest ship of uh, Norwegian Cruise Line. I would say the best I've ever seen. And I'm um, captain on board the Encore. Seattle is my favorite port, Pier 66, close to the city center. All the crew has been waiting for a long time now, so we are very excited to have passengers on board again. As you have noticed, it's very big ship. We are ready to keep the ship and everybody on board in a healthy environment. As with airplanes and cockpits, no one besides Norwegian crew members are allowed on the bridge. But on this momentous occasion, we travel behind the scenes to this area, seldom seen by guests. We are on navigational bridge. Here in front of us, cockpit. Here we have jump seats for the pilot and for the captain. Captain most of the time is operation director, so has overview of the entire operation. When we go in and out of port, we do it manually from the cockpit or from the bridge wings. As always, at sea you have to adapt to the current conditions. We have all the modern gadgets to keep us on track to avoid any dangerous situation. We have engines producing 100,000 horsepower altogether. We have to have a lot of backup systems since we rely very much on technology today. But the technology keeps us safer than before, making the officers able to concentrate on what's important for the moment. In the cockpit we have radars. As you can see, we have a lot of screens. We can control all the systems of the ship from here. This is starboard side bridge wing. We have a console here. We can operate the thrusters, we can operate the ports, we can rotate them 360. It's constant ongoing work keeping everything in ship shape to have a safe operation on the ship. It's a great ship to run and I'm proud to be the captain of it. During NCL's voluntary suspension of its fleet, 
priority number one for the NCL leadership team was not only to improve the food offerings, but to make them the best at sea. With executive chef Praveen Mathias and his team aboard the Encore, guests are about to be blown away by what they've been cooking up in the kitchen. People like to cruise because of all the destinations and all, but when they come on board, the first thing they look is for the food. We make everything from scratch. We make the dressings from scratch. We make our own breads on board. We make our own pastries on board. One more pasta. We really put all our efforts, our heart, our passion into it just to get the food to a level where our company expects it to be. Hello, let's go fast. We have about 1,000 people working in food and beverage. It's really massive operation. People running left, right. Give me a fresh asparagus. Give me a fresh asparagus. Let's go. You will have so much chaos you're going to see, but they are trained in such a way that it's normal for them. Give me some cheese. Since the moment we came on the ship, we have been uh, running hard to make everything ready. It's going to be an amazing opening. It's a really warm, fuzzy feeling for me, at least, to be part of you know this bigger picture and, and relaunch. We went back and added multi millions of dollars back into the product for food and beverage. Uh, specifically for our main dining rooms and complimentary dining. Ooh, I've heard this is delicious. Yes. I have heard. <laughs> yeah. Norwegian Cruise Line is known for their dining, and we have more specialty dining outlets than any other cruise line out there. You've got the Texas Smokehouse in the queue. You can go to Le Bistro for French dining. We have over 22 to 24 different dining outlets available. So the concepts behind what we offer for the dining experience is step above all other cruise lines. What up? We've been very innovative. Uh, we've been increasing the quality and also the menu variety of, uh, of the restaurants on board. And the quality is great. The chefs uh, are picking it up very well. They really love cooking with all these new ingredients. They like these new menus. And also the crew has been raving about it and about the quality as well. Thank you so much. Ooh. We consider the Norwegian Encore to really be our flagship. Cheers. Back to cruising. Back to cruising. Back. Back to cruising. Yes. 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 It represents everything we do as a brand and as it relates to food and beverage. You look good eating that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it again. No. <laughs> the most diverse options available on this ship, it really signifies everything that we do. That's this very good. good. I would love to welcome everyone in the kitchen and witness what we do. Very few realize that in a large scale restaurant like this where we can seat over 500 guests at one time, we still cook everything to order from the steak to the pasta to the vegetables. Here it's really to the guest orders and always perfect. It's showtime. We're eager and excited to get going and we're ready. So. Welcome back. On the Encore, guests can rest assured that there is no shortage of fun to be had. From indulging in the spa to taking a spin on the racetrack, transporting yourself in the Galaxy Pavilion to immersing in Alaska's untouched wilderness, there's absolutely nothing lacking for those seeking to take it all in. We want to ensure that all guests get the full experience from all the bars, all the lounges, and full throttle entertainment. <laughs> We're premiering Choir of Man. They're back again, and a whole slew of guest entertainers as well coming on the ship. Live music in every single venue and lounge, including the Beatles. from the pool deck experience to every lounge, including our two-story racetrack. We also have our virtual reality center. Don't worry, you're okay, I'm here. Galaxy Pavilion is one of our main hot attractions on board. It's cutting edge and it's a full virtual reality experience. The Galaxy Pavilion's got many cool features that really touch all the elements of entertainment and high-end technology. Oh, you guys got a race going. You won't find on the entire planet, a venue that's got all this high-end entertainment technology. We, we cherry pick them the best and we have custom things that are one of a kind. Only you'll find them on board the Norwegian Encore, nowhere else in the world.
Ultimately, our goal is to ensure the guest experience is priority one. The whole concept is something for somebody everywhere and choose what you want to do in the day. And while in port, guests can take full advantage of the countless shore excursion offerings. My job is to provide the most beautiful experience while ashore uh, to our guests. Alaska is very famous for their nature, uh, rare beauty, and also a great place to spot some wildlife, waterfalls, and glaciers as well. So uh, in the winter, of course, the bears hibernate. This is a popular hibernation spot. One of my favorite tours is a one mile long trail through the heart of the forest. Why I personally like Port of Ketchikan because we can offer so many excursions such as kayaking, uh, sightseeing, boat rides, seaplanes, helicopter ride, walking on the glacier, the whale watching, the mountain peaks covered with the snow. I never take it for granted, this beauty that we have here. Alaska is the once-in-a-lifetime experience, so I always make sure that guests have the most amazing experience while they're on the excursions with us. After endless hours of rehearsals, it's finally opening night for the Choir of Man. We are the Choir of Man! Yay! Choir of Man is a great show. It's one of my favorites. It's just a night of drinking some pints, celebrating friends and family and relationships. Cheers. It's a great night of songs that is a soundtrack to everyone's life. and the packed house had amazing things to say about the performance the boys delivered. We just saw the choir of man and it was fantastic. They're all so good and they sang songs that we knew. They were awesome. They were absolutely awesome. Amazing. I mean, one of the best shows I've ever seen. Highly recommend it if you ever get the chance to see them. Opening night was insane. It just exploded with energy and enthusiasm. You could hear it from around the world. It was incredible. Amazing. There's no way I could just go back to my room now. I am <laughs> jazzed up. They They're play, they sing, they dance. It's They're beautiful. Everything. Beyond expectations. Greatest show ever! The guys rehearsed day and night, and it showed. I couldn't have been more proud of that cast and of that production. They had the guests on their feet instantly. It was a great night. Did all of NCL's hard work to enhance and elevate the guest experience pay off? Well, the proof they say is in the pudding. This is my first cruise and I have never in my life seen anything like it. Everything is incredible, the staff, the food, just everything. The events have been great. I've seen so many things. I went to an art auction, there's dances, I just got done at a play. I mean, everything. <laughs> I screamed a lot, sorry. The service was amazing. Everyone was so friendly. The drinks were flowing. The pool was great. Let's do it again. They've really gone above and beyond making it comfortable and safe for all the guests to experience everything on board. They've really thought it all through. The service is really service good. Everyone's really happy to be back to work and they had yeah. the big smiles on their faces. And... That's the best part of it all, is seeing everybody so happy to be back at work and people happy to be back together. Oh, it's been fantastic. My favorite part, the speedway. That was fun. My best week ever. The experiences have been absolutely exceptional. I'm so great to be back at sea. The service, the food has been exquisite. The show's choir of man, amazing. Put your hands up if you would like to have a free beer. The crew, excellent, 100%. Very friendly and very nice people. Ketchikan was beautiful. We saw all the beautiful waterfalls and animals, and it was incredible. It was just absolutely beautiful. I would definitely book the Encore again because it has everything. There were bears and whales and lots of nature. Beautiful. Just beautiful, just fantastic. Yeah. We, we definitely can. can't wait, wait to, to come, come back. back. <laughs> We're already booked for February. It just doesn't get any better than that. 
NCL has truly achieved something that many deemed impossible, the greatest cruise comeback ever. And this is just the beginning. I can't wait to get on board in a region cruise line again. This is the best line I've ever sailed on in my entire life. While the world recovers from the devastating effects of the global pandemic, it's sad. I could never imagine how it would affect our industry the way it has. When we had to shut down the ships and send everybody home, it was hard for us because we know that their livelihood is dependent on working on those ships. When you face something like a pandemic, you really start thinking more about the people, the personal challenges that we're all going through. There is a cruise community that oftentimes is overlooked, and these people have taken it on the chin. My shop was closed, my job was gone, my employees were furloughed. Norwegian Cruise Line stood strong, forging ahead. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna elevate the experience and make it even more excellent. We're gonna lead the path in the world with having the best service, best experiences. This is Norwegian's time to shine. It's the great cruise comeback. A year and a half in the making, the great cruise comeback is finally here. I have an exciting news. We are ready. It's time to talk about relaunching. The minute I reached out to the team, each one's, I'm ready. I could be there tomorrow. And their mission remains true, to continue to innovate and deliver unparalleled experiences to their guests. Our goal every single day is to make thousands and thousands and thousands of people happy. Investing. The security team picked the most state-of-the-art security, baggage system, check-in. I think the guest's reaction to the bistro menu is going to be phenomenal. Innovating. It really is going to change the experience for the better for every single person that cruises with us. Norwegian Cruise Line's always been a leader in innovation in the cruise line industry. That'll be no different. And believing. Back in March, you guys sent us a message. We heard that loud and clear but I want you guys to know that we believe in you even more. One thing is certain, this is just the beginning. I told the guys, just don't meet the standard, let's exceed the standards. That's what we've done here. As they lead the way forward. This is gonna be the healthiest and safest environment that guests could possibly be in. Our people are passionate, we're dedicated, and we know people, we love people. Continuing to break boundaries. The introduction of the region Prima sets a new standard in the industry. And open the doors to the world. Enjoy your cruise. Join us for Norwegian Cruise Line's great cruise comeback. Come